I knew in my heart that I had given it 100%. Mm. And, 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 I, and I really deserved to win. I, I felt I deserved to win. You're obviously thinking of some of those nasty moments that led to you not getting to where you felt you deserved to be. What are some of those things that you're thinking of right now? No, I mean, I think it just, it's the personalities behind the scenes and just some of the experiences behind the scenes. But at the same time, I learned a very valuable lesson. And that was, in life, you can win without winning. Mm. It's not always number one. After that, everybody started to say, can we book Miss Essay? But, oh, can we book Miss Essay and the first princess? Yes. You know what I mean? And then to get the opportunity to do Miss, Miss World. While I was in London, we were doing some charity work in London. I was told that um, there was an article in the newspaper about myself and the then Miss South Africa, and that we had been in some altercations in, in, in the pageant, mm. and that I had used some racial slurs. Me, a young black girl who had experienced racism, had used racial slurs. It made it very difficult. Was there actual tension between you and that former Miss SA? I think you bring two competitors into a room, there will be a competitive energy, you know. If you had to look back at all that you've been through, what was that one moment that you felt like you were never going to be able to move forward from? There have been so many, you just don't realize how many take you to the brink, you know. Um, the worst is the things that are said about you, that are written about you, that are not true and the guys in the media space don't realize the impact they have on people's lives, you know. It's not just about selling stories, you know. I hear you and I, and I recognize that. But let's sift through it, sift through it all. I, I think it's, it, it's, it's a combination of many because it flowed from one and flowed into others, you know. But I think it's people intruding into your private space. And you know, being in the space, that is difficult. Hmm. Still didn't give me an answer. The biggest challenge was in the boardroom. Hmm. There were tough moments where you could tell that certain things had already been planned. Uh, and in giving my opinion, I would get quite riled up or emotional about something and make it difficult. Then people focus on the emotion they create in you rather than the point that you're making. Hmm. You know, I learned that it was important to manage my emotions and deal with the work, with the facts, and be very prepared. And then you're pulled in that direction in the world of marketing and then the business of sports joined with marketing. Which one came first and what actually led you down that path? Well, entrepreneurship came first. Mm. I decided that I want to be an entrepreneur and I decided um, with my partner then that we were going to start a production business. and. Uh, it started there and I've enjoyed the journey. Having a business, I had a business for 15 years in the production uh, space and uh, doing music, entertainment, television, and it was absolutely amazing. And how did you get drawn into the world of, um, you know, from entrepreneurship, realizing the big gap that there was within sports marketing and how you could provide a great deal of knowledge and expertise over time in that regard too? Well, when I built uh, the business, Jake Productions, it allowed uh, me to get involved in the production space. And that's really where the marketing uh, engine and, and, and space uh, was for me. You know, I call it the University of Jake because many of us who, who were there, uh, it was an environment, first of all, for black excellence. Um, and it was an environment where we shared ideas. So that was really where it all started and it was amazing. We did things that hadn't been done before and I think it laid the foundation for me doing a lot more. There's always this notion about not working with family and somehow you've managed to make it work as a family. I mean, this is the makings of um, a gripping reality TV show that people would <laughs> love to know how you managed to make this all work. Look, it's not easy and there are times it doesn't work. We have to be honest. It's very difficult to maintain the boundaries also. The frustrations of like, when are you, am I talking to my dad? Am I talking to my boss? Yeah, uh, you know? absolutely. But at the same time, listen, we're living life. 
at the end of the day, we were real, we we're working with each other, and it, it does, some of the personal stuff does creep into uh, the work environment, and it's about maintaining professionalism and learning, and it's a journey. And then it's just like, mm, mm. you have to have that line of professionalism, but...